Hey there viewers and we are on the final day of the website design challenge day 30 out of 30. Thanks again for all the support. I can't wait to do the next series. I was actually planning to do an hour for this but I thought you know what who has an hour these days. Let's just stick to the regular format of 10 minutes. My name is Roy. I'm a web designer and let's get into the video. Before we get into the challenge I would highly encourage you to practice every day especially if you're a beginner if you're a developer that wants to get better at design if you spend one hour or even 30 minutes a day doing these challenges I promise you you are gonna get design skills in no time so let's get into the challenge okay so we're going right into the challenge and again the format is trying to think about the problem we're trying to solve problems and this one in particular a startup that helps people figure out the best way to buy a home versus renovating an existing one but I kind of changed the brief to should you buy a new build home or to renovate an older home and this is a question that I've I've faced a couple of times I'm sure that if you've if you've purchased a house this question has probably popped in your head it seems quite a common question and this idea is generated on ideasai.net and it's quite it's one of the all-time popular ideas so i thought this would be a really nice meaty one to take on especially on the last on the final challenge so i did change it a little bit um should you buy a new build home or renovate an older one um well it, it, I think I'm probably going to change it even more which is should you buy a new build home versus an older existing one and why would people want to sign up you'll get a one page report just submit two postcodes so uh, the goal is you'll get uh, we get your email and you're gonna get a one page report highlighting things that you don't know um, and hopefully it'll be of value to you uh, the user and then in order to make money I'm assuming that the startup would then say okay if you like a full page report or a 10 page report pay $100 and you'll get XYZ and I think that's a pretty straightforward way um, so there I've just put in two fields with get report CTA and I'm not thinking great about the name I just use the keywords home report and now I'm just laying out the same old uh, nav items uh, again this is just UI patterns you'll see this on all landing pages you'll have the nav at the top and here I'm thinking in my head you will get a free one page report to start why would people want to sign up to your service well if it's free why not and uh, we're targeting people that it could be first time buyers um, that could be a target audience so this is probably a good question to uh, propose at the beginning should you buy a new build home or renovate an older existing one and there I'm just putting in the CTAs one thing to watch out for when you're using auto layout is that the one in the middle is not going to be perfectly in the middle so just get rid of the auto layout and then center align it and then now what I'm doing in story set dot com or freepick.stories.com is looking for illustrations again because Airbnb they've gone that route and I thought this is probably a nice way to find two illustrations of one older home versus a newer home uh, so I think imagery real images would be nice but we have to remember that images they can take up bandwidth speed and performance so the main image I'm going to use is a testimonial from a user. The report helped with something I completely overlooked. And this is by Jane Doe, a real person. Uh, well, not a real person here, but it's good to get a real user, social proof, Twitter. Um, and here I'm thinking, okay, the layout, I'm thinking it's going to be center now, front and center. and also the testimony is also front and center and I'm and I'm thinking it's going to be a 50 50 kind of layout where the left is going to be an old home 
or a new home and then the right is going to be the opposite home that's my, that's what i'm thinking in terms of layout because you're kind of comparing two things so here i'm looking for someone that looks like she's thinking and looking up at the form as well um, which i think is, is is a bonus she's looking in, in that direction kind of and that will help the user or the user will look in that direction as well and i'm putting in a strong warm color um, because i'm i'm anticipating that the illustrations are going to be uh, cold lighter colors um, just to contrast with everything else i went with really light teal i think a light blue and a light green again this is tailwind css color palette so here i'm finding two illustrations and what, what i'm noticing straight away is the black on on the roof and everything those are very strong so we want to try and change those those colors and what we what we're going to do is go with the the green different shades of green um or how dark it is and the closer they are the darker they are uh, so here i'm just laying it out i'm not going to put it right at the footer because sometimes you might think that that's it you can't scroll below and here is an older home um, so i'm trying to get the proportions right so they'd look like they're maybe neighbors uh, so now i'm just going into um, each area in the illustration changing the shading um, so having the green the darker green um, which i haven't done perfectly here but i do this right at the end um, which i noticed is actually just over an hour um, but now i'm doing blue so i'm going blue on one side green on the other side just for contrast and um, i'm getting rid of the black because the black is very strong and this is the tedious bit of finding those those colors um, so i think i did leave them just to, so i can go within the hour so here it looking it's looking like a concept now um, and i'm feeling quite happy so i'm playing with the background because i feel that it's too much with the the light green and blue so i'm playing with gradients and that kind of helps it pop a bit the the image again i'm going from uh, the lightest shade blue to the lightest blue possibly no that doesn't make sense but light blue then to the lightest blue and then same for the green so now i'm placing the star right in the middle and i'm pretty sure i'm going to al center align the testimonial so the only issue it's starting to rain hopefully you can't hear the rain in the uk typical um so here i'm just aligning it right below the form giving the color orange so it's warm Ho hopefully it'll appear closer to the user as opposed to cold colors um and now what i'm doing i'm combining the form because i didn't like the gaps in it so now it feels like it's one whole field uh, and again i'm using auto layout for this uh, which is super super easy to use you just have to practice it um, and again just a spoiler spoiler alert i'm doing an hour special on tomorrow's video showing you how to create or the starting point to create these type of templates and why how i choose certain font sizes and and the grid and everything else so definitely subscribe or hit the bell so you won't miss out on that one it's probably one of my favorite episodes coming up uh, so anyway yeah i just put an arrow icon in there postcode one postcode two you probably don't need to say postcode one postcode two um, but here i'm 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 trying to give more focus to the testimonial that's why i'm spacing the the, the illustrations to the right and to the left so now it kind of there's a bit more focus i'm getting rid of the tree because that was a bit of in, an imbalance or a bit unfair to the uh to the one on the right uh, and I gave a bit of drop shadow to the form so the form pops out a bit and here I'm putting in the dates that they were made just to just to make it more clear because you don't know some people might not realize what is modern and what is old just by looking at the housing and here I thought okay let me go clean white background and uh, now I'm adding these these nice circles in the back like a sun 
or just a bit of background I'm going with a light blue and I'm going to go from light blue to, to white so now it kind of pops a bit now hopefully it will emphasize the old versus the new uh, should you buy a new build home or renovate an older one so uh, yeah so just a nice simple thing to do um, and I'm making the font size a bit smaller because they were too big on the form so hopefully you, you've enjoyed this episode you don't want to miss the next one uh, get ready because it's going to be an hour long in real time uh, and I'm going to go through everything step by step on how to create a landing page template one that you could go on and just make it your own uh, so yeah I was very pleased with this one and I emphasize the colors again on the key words new build home and older one so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the episode and leave a like leave a comment subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow okay take care bye so I thought I would include this last bit where I'm uh, where I'm just making some extra touches to the illustration this is another five minutes but I thought it's nice to get rid of the black and just put in a darker shade of blue or green so therefore one is not heavier than the other okay bye <laughs>